lineage of David, but the spirit of Jesus was from God himself. He was traveling in flesh, but he was mine and he was me in flesh. Oh, this is heavy. What does he look like? Daniel talking. Daniel said, I beheld the ancient of days. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. He had hair like lamb's wool and he had feet like brass burned in an oven. His eyes like flaming coals. Let me ask you a question, Christians. I know you are waiting for the return of Jesus. What would you do if Jesus came back and he came back black. Could you handle it? How are you going to handle it? All you white folks talking about Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming. You right he is. But he's not a white man. And when he comes back, can you accept him in a black house? Can you accept functioning in a black man no you can't do that you couldn't accept king and change market strip change his name you would rather have a market street a street named after a market where you buy and sell rather than have a street named after a black human being who fought for justice for all. Yes. Can you handle Jesus coming back black? Black brothers and sisters, can you handle it? The scripture say he came unto his own, but his own received him not. And the light shined in the darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. Can you handle it? I asked the Jews who are looking for Elijah. And you hold the door open during your Seder feast for Elijah. And you set a place at your table for Elijah. But if... Elijah came and knocked on your door and he wasn't white what would you say call 911 it's a nigger at the door <laughs> and some of you Muslims Muslims here waiting for the Mahdi, the guided one to come. You wouldn't need a Mahdi if you had followed Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> you blew it when you deviated from the Prophet. Now the Mahdi has to come to guide you back to the path of the Prophet. And the Prophet, before he left, told you there was no superiority of white over black. He didn't reverse that. was no superiority of white over black or non-Arab over Arab or Arab over non-Arab then he told you all that you should respect leadership whether it comes from a person whose skin is black like soot and his hair is like dried raisins he was telling you something 
if you can't respect God's grace to you in a black person you will never come up out of your condition of death because it's not the color that's just the house that he's coming in it's the wisdom and so that black horse and the scale of justice is in his hand is in the world he's in the world and I respectfully say to you all we can all come up out of this death from the black all the way to the white we can come up out of this condition but the first thing you gotta do is to recognize you blew it we messed up and if we all messed up the scriptures say you got to be born what? Yeah. again that ain't just for white folk that's for you and me well how can I be born again I can't go back in my mother's womb for the second time no that's right Jesus hit them real hard when they asked him about that he said you see the wind you don't know where it bloweth or where it listeth I know Nicodemus didn't understand what he's saying is look the only way you can come back to yourself you see the wind you don't know where it bloweth or where it listeth meaning it's from you don't know where it's going and you don't know where it came from well so it is with the original man you don't know where we were born you don't know how long we were born and you don't see no end to us we're like the wind you don't know where we listed and where we're blowing we're just here you got to come back into your original self you must be born again and you know how you get born again not by jumping up and having a fit and running down the aisles and foaming at the mouth and kick over a few chairs and I'm born again don't be mad with me don't be mad with me many of you my Christian brothers and sisters you are so sincere and wonderful God gives you credit for trying to be no seriously I'm not trying to be smart we get credit for trying but you can't be a born again Negro a born American born again African American Negro in order to be born again you have to be broken up in the way you've been formed by this world scriptures say you and I were born in sin and shaped in iniquity well after you've been shaped in something so long you don't get born again by just dropping them in some water and pulling them up and dropping them in the water and pulling them and say now go I've been saved I'm sorry Reverend that's not the way that's done in fact a water baptism don't make you a follower of Jesus a water baptism makes you a follower of John because John baptized Jesus in the water and while he was baptizing Jesus he said one was coming after him that would not baptize you with water but would baptize you with fire and the Holy Ghost oh Lord I'm through now why baptize you with fire because fire when it touches this rostrum this rostrum got a form but when fire touches it it breaks it down breaks it down to its raw elements it becomes ashes and then God builds it up from there again huh it'll take this metal and melt it down fire when it touches a thing it'll wither this building bring it down even though this is concrete and steel fire will fix it for you is that right so when Jesus said, or uh, John said, this one coming is going to baptize you with fire. That means that the word in his mouth 
is like the light of the sun. The light of the sun is pure fire. He said, I am the light of the world. What are you saying, Jesus? What word is in my mouth? It is like fire when it touches you. It'll begin breaking down the form of evil. The form of a Negro and a nigger made by the world. The form of a Chicano made by the world. The form of a white man made by the world. When this fire touches you, you begin to start getting excited, nervous, you know. Because it makes you see yourself as you are. And it starts breaking you down to build you up. And the Holy Ghost is nothing more than the power in the Word that gives you the energy to rebuild according to the law and will of God. I am the resurrection and the life. If you believe in me, even though